Hey folks, it's Fritgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Prison Architect. Janitor murdered by a prisoner. It's not quite so good when murdered by a prisoner, just murdered. Um, it's not quite so good when our staff are being murdered. I've now only got 19 janitors. There. I have new job opening here for a janitor. Don't ask what happened to the last bloke. It's probably best that you don't find out. Because otherwise, um, yeah, th thing things may not go quite so swimmingly if, 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 you know. Well, I suppose they could still go well. It's just that it, it may discourage you from being a part of our happy, happy family if you find out what happened to the last part of our happy, happy family who wasn't quite so cheerful after all. Right, now we've got a bit of light in here. I'm going to do this whole thing like that and one there and I'm going to do the same over here although I need to wait for the um, staff to come in and, and finish building that bit there they don't seem very keen on doing that I have got a load of other things that they need to do let me speed that oh there we go now now he's doing it now they're doing it they're, they're bringing it in now it was just taking them a while to do it yes right that's gone right in there Slow that down a little bit, like that, and then I want to go into, uh, what do I want to do? I want to go to a room here. I've already got a mailroom, parole, library, forestry, shop, workshop. That's what I want. It's that one there. It goes right the way down through. So I've got nice, big workshop all the way down through here. We've got everything that we need. It is now a fully-fledged, functioning workshop. Which is absolutely fantastic. So then I'm going to put lights up from this direction. Not that one. Yeah, let's put one there. And I'm going to do the same up this way. If anybody's been doing any digging lately, I wouldn't know. I haven't seen, haven't seen it at all. I haven't been paying any attention. I haven't been looking out for it. And I probably should be looking out for it. So let's, uh, no, not there. Let's put lights down here like this, and then I'll do the same going up this way. Uh, put them in between the tables. There. There should be all the lights that we need in this facility. There. Right. That looks pretty good, I think. Right, we've got a beautiful big workshop here. You could not ask for a better workshop than that. There's a massive great big workshop right there. Could not ask for better. I want deployment. So yeah, that is open. We've got access only in there. I've got a fence down here that I'm still waiting for them to build. Everything else is got the deployment set exactly how it should be. So I don't need to worry about it. Now I've got a whole load of timber in here. We're going to be wanting to use some of that. Next, we go logistics right there. I've got a maximum of 35 jobs in here. Requires workshop safety induction. Let's set 35 jobs in here, and then we will set the workshop safety induction malarkey. That's what we can do. Right, that's 35 jobs in there. Then I will go to reports. Let's get rid of that one a second. Reports. I've got one new prisoner coming in tomorrow. Programs, right there. Kitchen safety and hygiene is starting right now. I've got foundation education. General education, i got four people in there. Behavioral therapy, 57 in Q2 finished. I'm going to need a load more psychologists, aren't I? Or psychiatrists, psychologists, I think. Uh, psych whichever one. Need to find out now. Psych psychologists, I'm going to need more of these. They're 200 a day. It allows you to gain an insight into the minds of your prisoners. I need more. I'm going to need to build some more offices so that I've got some more of them, which means that then we can have some more one-on-one -on -one sessions to help this whole anger issues that we've got building up in our prison. Tasers. 260 finished. 80 in the queue. 30 have passed. So we're slowly getting through the taser training sessions. I'm going to start another one of those, so that will run until 10 a.m., Parole hearings, keep those running. I might get some more parole hearings. Oh no, 14 in queue. I've only got 14 queued up for parole hearing. Carpentry apprenticeship, that one needs a workshop safety induction first. 
Workshop safety induction. Ten places, two sessions. Safety first. Inmates must pass this course before they are permitted to work in the workshop. Led by a foreman in a workshop. Right, well, the foreman doesn't do anything else. So let's put him to work, shall we? And the carpentry apprenticeship. Led by a foreman in a workshop. It's a carpentry. I don't know if they can run in the same workshop or if I will need a separate workshop for that. Generally, get a work safety induction nine interested start another one four until six i got two per day going on that one hopefully i'll get a few people doing that and doing some work as well so i want more psychologists and what is going on in here killed for being a snitch what about you injured locked down solitary 18 hours you Solitary, lockdown, right. Being a snitch is kind of frowned upon in prison, apparently. Who'd have thunk it? Who'd have thought such a thing would even happen? I've got a slight issue there with power in that corner. We need to extend that one out. Over there like that. That will ensure that we have full power across everything. Right the way through all of it. That will be fine. Just need to extend that out a little bit. So here. Just wondering if I could put some psychologist offices over this side. Like I've got the mail room over here. Unsorted mail times 10. Unsorted mail times 5. Mail satchel. Right. So I've got people working here apparently. Possibly. Possibly. It seems, seems to be working okay at the moment. Right. Uh, quick build office. There. I have an office quick build that I can drop into here. And I can put that one out like that. I can put one there. I can overlap that one. And I can put another one there. And then I will also put one here. And I will overlap that one down there. Right onto that corner. That's going to go like that. So I've got a light there. Which I'll move over to that side. And then that light. He's already moved. Where's he moving it? Oh, he's... Literally moving it back to where it was. I got one light being moved over to there. And then I've got these lights up through here. I'll put that one there like that. Because then I'm going to take flooring. Sandstone. And I'm going to run that down there. Because that's the access up into that one. And then I've got these four offices over here. Where I'm going to have my psychologists... Who are going to be doing psychology work. So I just need these to be built up a minute. Oh, I wonder if I can put the objects in. Where's the wide sofas? There are the wide sofas. One there. One there. One there. And this one is going to go... Is that the right way around? Yep. That is the right way around. That one's going to go in there, like that. Uh, lights in here. There's a couple of lights in there still, but there aren't any lights in the other one. So we're going to want to go... I'll put one behind the chair. Oh, I don't need to buy any more. Forgot about that. Right, never mind. We'll, we'll leave those for a minute, and we'll let them go through, and we'll let them build that. So if I whiz that along like that, we've got the cables coming in here so that the light there is done. He's teaching nobody at the moment. I've literally got one dude in there. Oh, oh no, no. There's, there's another dude come in as well. Reform program. Right. Yeah, they'll get there eventually. Reports in here. Workshop say... Oh, that, that's because there was only two in there that time. More of them might become interested later on. I got 47 passed here. 257 finished. Education, 17 passed. General education, people are working on. 
Behavioral therapy, four finished, zero passed. 33, four have passed the pharmacological treatment. Alcoholics, anonymous, in there. Guard tasers, parole hearings, spiritual guidance. It's just carpentry. That is the only thing I've got left now is carpentry. Right, lights. I've got one light in there. Objects over here. I want to put another light there like that. Over this side, I want walls. We've got a concrete wall there. That one's going to go down there like that. And yeah, I'm going to stick with the concrete wall here. I don't think we need to have anything too fancy. Utilities this way. I do just want to do that so that I've definitely got power in there. And I've got the offices. They're all re they're done now. So I can drop a psychologist in there. Psychologist in there. One in there and one in there. So I've now got four brand spanking new psychologists. We will go with logistics deployment in here. Those are shared offices in there. That's good. Which means that then I can go back into here and I can take the... Um, Behavioral therapy rage situation. Ten, and then four till six, four till six, four till six. Another one. No regime time slot. Right, stop that one. So there, I've now got a load of people able to come in and do behavioral therapy. And we can work our way through that with the psychologist. I've got the alcohol treatment, which, yeah, the alcoholics group therapy. Twenty in queue, fourteen have finished and zero have passed. Not going to do any more than that. I'm just going to leave that as it is. I don't have low security able to access that particular program. I've only got the higher security ones able to access that. But I'm okay with that. Uh, that's that's something that I, I do feel okay with. I, I, can, I can live with that. Now, if these guys are doing training in here, are they also able to come along and work in here afterwards? Or not? I don't even know if that's a thing. Right. Fence has now been built down here. I've also got perimeter fence all the way down to the side, down as far as there. I'm going to start building more perimeter fence. I've got 25,000 at the moment. Let me take walls and doors up that way. I'm going to take a perimeter fence, and I'm going to start from that point right there, and I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom, down to there. That is perimeter fence, and nothing is going to be changing that. That's going to be perimeter fence there. Nothing's going to be changing it further down. So that's going to run all the way down to that point right... Apparently it's not going to run all the way down because I didn't have enough money. Let's try that again, shall we? Here we go there. We'll run all the way down. 7,000. 8. 8, 7, 8, 9. 9, 1, 50. Drop that one in there. And I now have a little bit of a cash flow problem. So we'll let the labor force come out and deal with that. Then we can also go and put things down in here. I want to put perimeter fence down in here. They're not doing anything. I have a lack of workforce in here, don't I? And the, main, and the reason I've got a lack of workforce is because I have a lack of prisoners. I'm going to be doing max, uh, super max, but the problem is... I'm not sure about Supermax and, um, like, keeping them separate, but what about work conditions? Are they allowed to go and work? Because jobs, well, that's not, I, that's not what I want. Regime. Right, work lockup. Prisoners are put to work. Any job openings will be filled and prisoners will automatically report to their job locations. All reform programs also take place during work time. Prisoners without a job not currently assigned to reform program are restricted to their cells if under lockup. Uh, there. They're put to work. Do I need to have some completely free time? Is that something that I need to do? Is have a little bit of actual open free time so it's not work free time? Because I've got a lot of jobs being filled around the factory. At the factory? It's not a factory. It's going to be a factory. I'm, I'm, I'm speaking too much like Factorio now. Um, I'm wondering if maybe, like, there, shower time, free time. Long periods of free time can reduce the stress and tension within your prison, but many believe it hardly counts as punishment. Maybe I should put an hour of free time here. I've got work free time, like work slash free time. 
So I'm wondering if I was to put a slot of free time in there. They could go to sleep if they wanted to. Sleep. Except those who are digging escape tunnels. Prisoners locked in a cell. Lights are turned out. Everyone goes to sleep. They will sleep in free time though, don't they? If they want to. So if I put a bit of free time in there... Let them do as they wish. They've now got a little bit of extra free time. Maybe, just maybe, that will make a difference. We'll have to wait and see. So what we've got to decide next is... What are we going to do next? This is kind of our, our big thing that we need to focus on. We've now got a decent workshop up and running, which means that we'll be able to use them. We've got four in solitary, plus one waiting, three in lockdown at the moment. Prison manufacturing, we need to get them trained so that they can start making us some license plates and turn this prison into a factory. That's, that's kind of the idea here, is we want to we wanna factorialize this place a little bit. So we've got some decent prisoner output on here where we can turn them into profitable people rather than non-profit. And I, th I think that's, that would be an excellent idea. Right, you're waiting here. I'm assuming you're waiting. Right, he's waiting for there. He's just... Ah, oh, I see. He's come to get the soiled clothes. That's what they're after there. Um, so the janitors are working on this. Now, what I've been told is actually I should have more cleaning cupboards stationed around um, rather than just a bigger cleaning cupboard. So if I have a few of those stationed around, it will help out with the whole cleaning of the entire prison thing. Um, we do have our janitors busy scurrying around and doing all of the things that they need to do. We've got our cooks busy working in the kitchen. We've got potentially some additional inmates that will be able to come along and help them out as well. I need to be looking at the next leg of construction next, is what am I going to do when I expand this prison? Uh, how am I going to go about expanding the prison? Uh, the other thing I'm thinking about is, should I assign someone to these chairs at all times? Is that a thing I should do? I've got armed guards hanging around in here. Some of them are not happy, most of them are all doing alright. And I don't necessarily have any assigned on here. I've, I've just got, like, a few there. Um, up here at the moment, we've got 18 left in our maximum security capacity. Now, I don't really want to change that. I would like a supermax section, but I'd also like the crazy ones. Right? We, we want the supermax and we want the crazies. Criminally insane right there. If I enable the... Intake of those. Prisoner transfer and supermax. I will open both of those at the same time. And I'd quite like to get some of those. Once I've got supermax, I'm wondering if maximum security, like, if, if that will go up a little bit. We go into our policy in here. Serious injury, the security goes up. Murder, it goes to max. So... If they murder someone when I've got Supermax in here, I'm assuming that that will go up to... Or does it just go to maximum security? Goes up if they seriously injure someone. So this is what I'm wondering. Right, meal quantity is high, meal variety is medium. If I was to put that down a bit, it'd probably be easier to feed everybody. But I'm not too concerned about that. We'll leave that as it is right now. Couple of things that we do need to look at. We, we've now sort of taken care of most of the needs. Exercise and family are a little bit of an issue. Family in particular, although I think the mail room is going to be helping that out a little bit. Freedom, yeah, well, there's not a lot we can do about it. Luxuries we could do something about. I could start putting in some prison shops. That is one thing that I could do, is if I was to start introducing a few prison shops, maybe that would help out a little bit. Maybe that would just improve the situation a bit. I'm not quite sure how the prison shops work, though. Like, if I go into here and I go to the shop... i got insufficient funds for it right now, but... Um, right, if I look at that, that, the way that the wall builds... I'm not quite sure what you do with the prison shop, whether it's supposed to be on the outside side and stuff gets brought into it and then the prisoners go through I, I i don't quite understand how the prison shop actually works and i don't know if i should separate them by 
um, security rating or not. I'm kind of thinking that I could drop a prison shop right in there if I had sufficient funds for it. I could pop one in there without too much trouble, although that wouldn't allow me to extend that one out any further. I mean, that would be right. It, it does fit perfectly. That would fit in there absolutely spot on perfect. Let's speed things up a little bit because we're not doing anything else. So I'm, I'm waiting for these to come along and they're building building perimeter wall all the way down here and then this will be changed and moved out. I've got a whole load of work up this way that is going to sort of uh, keep going. I've Minus money. Reform program sessions. Equipment tasers. They've been issued. I've got more tasers have been issued. If I can get my staff carrying tasers around, we should have less problems with the inmates being really, really violent towards them. Because the inmates keep beating up my, um, my staff. And I don't think it's a very good thing to be having the inmates beating up my staff on a regular basis. I absolutely don't think that this is a positive thing. Now, in here, I don't get that many prisoners coming in and having visitors, which seems a little odd. I thought that I'd be getting more of those. But, hey-ho, there we go. We will we'll leave that. Prison manufacturing. I haven't produced any license plates yet. It's just coming up to 2 o'clock, so we should be getting a new thing down here very soon. Should be getting... Yeah, they're bringing timber in here now to start doing some work in there. And if I go on to regime over here, from yard time there, 3 till 4, and then 4 until 7 is the, the thing in here. So, there we go. There's the foreman. He's in here. But where's the prisoners coming along for this? Ah, there we go. There we go. They're all running in. Oh, those aren't. Oh, no. Th those are going. Those are going to work in here. We got some working in the kitchens, and we got some in here doing the training as well, which is good. Right, if we can have several of these dudes in here doing training, they'll have the workshop safety thing. And they'll be able to make some license plates for us as well. 26%, 30%. Okay, that's actually doing pretty well. I've I've got um I've only got a couple of them working in there. But I'm already halfway through done. That's that's excellent. And that's gonna be more money coming in as well. Most of the money coming in for a while is going to be all of this timber down here. Now, how are we doing with staff? I've got 27 of those. 79 staff, 60 have serious complaints. Five staff have died on duty. That's guards. And if I have a look in here and we go to needs and we go to staff needs over here... Their re it, rest is difficult. I don't understand why they're struggling to rest. This this doesn't sort of make a lot of sense to me. I've got 40 workers in the in the prison. I don't really know if they're working properly or not. I'm not sure how I would tell that exactly. But I'll, I'll let them carry on there. They're doing a great job. I've got exports coming in. I've got more money coming in. I've got more prisoners coming in. And I reckon... I could probably leave this area as it is and I could build a brand new criminally insane area down here. Death. Right there. That is... Hang on a minute. Let me just pause that a second. He overdosed. Right. That seems to be our biggest cause of death at the moment is overdosing. And I suppose we should be grateful that it's not through violence that it's happening but at the same time it's still not a great thing is it now criminally insane if i was to have the criminally insane down here and completely separate to this they can be escorted in down here and then they can go through another fence and wall and be in a separate section down here of the prison this entire area will be given over to dealing with the criminally insane by going through an additional set of fences right here. That's kind of what I'm thinking at the moment. Whether or not this will be a good idea, I don't really know. So we're going to go with flooring over this side. I'm going to go to sandstone, and I'm going to drop a double line down there. Idea being, they come in through the main gate, and then they head down this way. So we will have maximum security wall down here. 
and then we will have a gate in through here. So the first bit of gate, that could actually be a strong perimeter wall put up all the way along there then. That's the case. We can put a strong perimeter wall all the way along there. And I can do some extra bits as well. I can take grass that will go out the side of there. And I will do it uh, four meters wide on that side. And I will do it four meters wide on that side. So they will have to come up and they will have to remove a few items there. Then I can go with the walls and the doors in here. And I'm going to go with... What is the most secure? There's a road gate, road barrier. Sturdy road barricade can stop. Even speeding trucks only closes during lockdown. Secret doors. Solitary door. Secure door. Designed for solitary cells. Remote door. Solitary door. Large jail door. Regular large jail door, I guess, would be the one to go for. Yes. I'll put a regular large jail door right in there, like that. And then... Another one will go... I'm not going to put another one in there yet. I'm going to leave that one. I'm just going to have a regular large jail door in there for a minute. Um, I've had more deaths. Something going on. Oh. Really? What is with the parole? Seriously. They're, they're just... They're, they're no good with the parole thing, are they? The, the parole thing is, 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 is always going wrong with the parole thing. Ten armed guards are in service. One person will be killed. Twenty-eight, twenty-nine prisoners have been on this. It's it's the prisoners with the complaints. Like I've got prisoners using these weight benches, getting some exercise. I've got prisoners going there. At free time. Five p.m. So yeah, I got some that are working. A lot of them aren't working actually. I'm wondering if eventually I shall increase this. Like, the low security, I'm not that concerned about that one. I'll kind of leave that one as it is. But I am wondering about buying another section up here and then expanding that one up by quite a margin and really increasing the medium security. This bit down here is coming along nicely. Have, have you finished yet? I think they've done all they're going to do down there for a minute. Let's go to walls and doors, and we will go to perimeter wall over here. And we'll bring that one down to that point right there. Let them go through. I've got $33,000 there. That perimeter wall can start being placed along here. That one is going to stay as solid perimeter wall all the way. I've got good. What's, what's going on? What's going on? More with the parole. The, the, the whole parole thing is just going horribly pear-shaped. Well, I've now got normal security prison spaces have opened up because, uh, the, yeah, parole went a bit wrong. That, that went horribly wrong for everybody involved, that did. Let's, uh, let's, let's talk no more about that one. That, that was, um, yeah, that, that was just unpleasant for everybody involved and we, we don't want to say any more about it. We'll now go back in this way, wall, oriental, perimeter wall, that's the one I want, and I'm going to go to there, take that one over to that gate there, and then I will run over to this side, 7,800, and there's all my money just gone, right, I've gone and spent the whole lot now. What we will be doing is we'll be increasing things down here. I also need to have a little bit more money so that I can put some extra stuff in there. Flooring for a start. And go in here and $45 will be spent on that. And $35 will be spent on that side. Our workforce is getting a little bit tired, so we're going to let them rest up for a minute. If you've enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to go and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.